All right, week 45 of the no code news. There will be some AI, but I'm mostly focusing on the no code news going on. Each week, it, there's some overlap, but it's okay because there's only so much new stuff that can go on, believe it or not. But there's growth in these areas. So let's start, let's dig in. All right, Google Opal just keeps expanding. Again, if you haven't checked out Google Opal, give it a look. It's really a good concept with many applications. And I'm going to touch on that in a moment. But that one there is, is, is just really interesting. It's worth a look. And the fact that they're going to be expanding it makes me think that Google's serious about this. Software drastically downgrades business plan from 2,500 to 500 for new customers. And it basically means that when you have a workspace, you can only have 500 overall users versus 2,500 in the multiple applications you have. The bottom line is, yeah, it's tricky. Maybe they're focusing on smaller companies, smaller businesses. It's just tricky. When you're using non-open source, you're going to hit those moments where they maybe realize it wasn't working at that price level or they don't want to focus on the big inter enterprise. They've released workflows and a lot of AI integration, so maybe the pricing wasn't adding up. So keep that in mind there. N8N, they have a release of their stable, but also a release of their preview. So some good changelog stuff here. One thing that's really interesting is they had the AI agent not dealing well with tools, and it seems they fixed that. Obviously, there's a ton of other fixes, but I didn't realize that was a problem. So it'd be interesting to see the difference with the AI agent now at this point, since it's so important to what I do and a lot of applications. Eleven Labs continues to push the, in this case, music generator and studio. Why is this here? No code. Basically, anything that can get the person with the idea, the business, the solo entrepreneur or the small business going without the developers and the complexity that comes with having teams of developers, I think is a win. So seeing this is just a reminder of what's there and ready to plug into without the code. So you can connect to different services or just use this straight up to get a lot of work done that before was heavy skill-based or heavy code-based. This one I'm not too sure about. I haven't done much with Webflow. It's interesting to watch the SEO in AI. I've been thinking about that one for a while now and they have that built in. And like I've said it a hundred times over, like anything's, anything we're building with AI when you do vibe coding, which is fun stuff, it's almost like a 3D printer where I have to go plug in the ink and the, whatever they call it, and they'll call it ink. But, and I print out a Lego pro piece to put it together. These systems here, Webflow or AppSmith or other ones, have the pieces already. So if they're using AI to put the pieces together, then it might be a solid solution for some of the, for good results, consistent, solid results without the concerns that come with building with AI 100%. Even though AI is only getting better and better, there are those moments where you're just, it, the complexity makes it fragile. So if they're really doing this with Webflow and they're doing more and more stuff with AI to do SEO and other stuff, then it could be worth looking into. I have not looked into this one. All right, now some of the GitHub trending I want to look at because this is really interesting. So I've mentioned no code base a bit and I've been watching their videos. I plan on using it this week on a project, actually for prepping for a project. And I got to say, it's really impressing me a lot. Loco Base is, at this point of saying, it's the open source software. That, so you can get pretty far with this in, in, in drag and drop. But watch the videos. They did a really good amount of training videos. And just get a sense of what's possible here without code. And they did a really cool thing with AI integration with, with employees. So you can choose which person should help with that particular data set or that particular question, the data person, translation person, salesperson. So you can focus your AI in those particular areas. So the user using the site, intranet, thinking intranet, internal websites can then pick which employee they want help from. It's a really interesting paradigm, charts, tables, all that stuff. It's, I really want to give it a go. I like software a lot, but I'm hitting a few limitations that I think this would overdo. And so, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. AppSmith is still growing. They did some stuff recently with AI agents, and it might not be as recent as I, I was thinking. I might have just been late to the game. Worth looking into is the AppSmith and their agent stuff going on. And I watched the videos on it, and they're doing a good job. They're, if no code base doesn't pull it off for me, I might go to AppSmith because they're doing that, hey, everything's here. And if you need more, you can do plugins, which is another thing I was thinking about. If I have AI now, I can make a plugin and AI knows the docs and the plugins. So it's a very focused thing that it's building versus everything. 
It's just saying, hey, make this plugin work. So things like NoCo Base and AppSmith really get me thinking, wow, what is possible now with AI in these systems in just being ready to go? Uh, so I'm really excited about that. So AppSmith in their agent. Buddy Base keeps growing. Another one I have used and I liked. I'm really more curious about NoCo Base. But Buddy Base is still something I want to bring up. 22,000 stars on GitHub. Keep an eye on things. Like if you look up here and you go to Insights and you just say, hey, how have they been doing for the last month? And look, and then compare. So if you compare this to AppSmith or NoCo Base, you get a sense of which ones are really moving and active in the community. I think it's a pretty good measurement. I guess if a product gets pretty mature, this could slow down. But it's just a good reminder that this is here to keep a sense of what's going on. All right, then some things on my website that they're not mine. I gather them as I watch them. Again, these guys do great videos. They did some cool stuff with N8N where they're making it so that you can just package and set up N8N really nicely with the particular backends and stuff you need to then make everything else work. It, this is worth watching. I think like they're saying, and like I've been saying for a while now, is keep the business logic in N8N. Make Superbase your kind of gateway between the front end and the back end and you'll do a lot better and then you're limiting the complexity of the business to N8N and then you can more easily work with AI to build the front end. So it's a great, I'm moving away from Lovable in trying to find these softer drag and drop UIs so it's even better, more predictable. But yeah, these videos are great and it's always worth watching their stuff. The next one is this person here who writes, coding is changing, applying, apply exposes it. And in this video, he goes, he talks, it's a good topic matter. Hey, we're still building a certain way. And is it really lining up with how things are going? And it's just worth a watch. And it's just a reminder that things are changing, working locally, development branches, mainline, all those things. I think we got to rethink and just consider how we do things. And he hits some hurdles here and cursor and he's just yeah these are old mindsets so it'll be interesting it's worth the watch and then finally mcps again just keeping an eye on this it's old news but just watching shows and people like this use mcps you start to realize how practical and easy they are and how you can make them small and focused one podcast was just saying hey if you make your mcp too big and too busy the ai doesn't benefit from it so keep them focused and then Give them to the AI to figure things out. And that's where you really see the, the power of AI as it can take the particular tools and use them effectively without you having to tell it everything it needs to do. So, yeah. All right. That's it for the news. Subscribe below. Join the site. I'm going to have deep trainings and uh, that we paid only. They'll be on how to build backend systems, how to really take normal client requests and turn them into those automations that are real. And then where does AI play a part in that? And how to just make, how to adapt to these new workflows. If you're coming from years of coding or you're a person with an idea, I want to make this happen and you can learn a lot. So join to get ahead of that. And otherwise, there's some ads along the way that I put in here for products. So please look at those products and sign up and give them a try. And that's it. And comment because that helps a lot too. All right. Thank you. I'll see you in next week's No Code News. Thank you.